I learned something that was really impactful for me, which is that your capacity to love others is limited only by your capacity to love yourself. And that's what inspired this piece of poetry, which I call, You Are Who You've Been Looking For. You are who you've been looking for. So stop looking for more unless you're looking in a mirror, because it's about time for you to see clearly that you are who you've been looking for. And that empty feeling you got, that hole in your chest, you only got that feeling because you think you're not blessed with everything you need. You see, we live in a consumerist society, which means they need you to buy stuff. And the easiest way to sell it is to tell you you're not enough. Buy this car, you'll get girls. Buy this bra, you'll get guys. <laughs> and we're seeing it so much that we start believing these lies, but the truth is, the makeup they're selling to make you feel prettier is the same makeup you buy to stop feeling shittier about this lie they keep telling you that you are not enough. And what about the movies we watch, all the shows on TV? The more I watch, the more I see I need you to complete me. And yes, love is the answer, love is the key, but if you can't love yourself, how could you ever love me? And, and loving yourself, what does that even mean? Like massages and selfies and that sort of thing? Because the more I think about it, the more it feels weird. I've always been taught that self-love was something to be feared. I've been taught that arrogance is bad and vanity, it's not good. And even my bracelets are telling me to act how Jesus would. So what should I do? How should I act? I'm supposed to love myself, but how do I even do that? Well, I got a trick that I picked up from a friend who noticed that I was quick to defend her when she would say something negative about herself. She would say, I'm so dumb, and I'd say, you're so brilliant. She'd say, I'm so weak, and I'd say, you're so resilient. And when she said, I feel ugly, and I said, you look beautiful, she asked me why I was so dutifully filling up her cup constantly, and yet treating my own cup so irresponsibly. Because when I looked in the mirror, my voice was quite clear. You're ugly, you're too thin, your hairline's receding, you got a pimple on your chin. And that was when she gave me a piece of advice that changed my life. She gave me a hug. And she said, treat yourself like someone you loved. Treat yourself like someone you loved. Now I had been standing, but I needed to be sitting because I couldn't believe that I had been letting myself keep forgetting that I was who I'd been looking for. And deep in my core, I knew it was time to stop looking for more until I could look through all my fear and look into a mirror and see clearly that the man looking back at me was the only one who can make me happy and I am already enough. And I am not any more special or unique than you. That is why I'm here to speak to you. You are already enough. And when you start to see that, you will start to be that. Your world will get brighter, your load will get lighter, and you can see that with life you can be a lover, not a fighter. And that life, you deserve it. Because you are worth it. And there is no point in letting yourself keep forgetting because no matter what you say or do, you are perfect. And so today, I hope I leave you with a direction correction away from the flaws you see in your reflection. They aren't flaws to me, they are simply protection against all the doubts you have of your perfection. So start today. Take a good, long look in the mirror and say, I am who I've been looking for.